Hey, what's going on? It's the Hustler's Playbook. And today we're going to talk about how to sell on Amazon. It's going to be an entire walkthrough of the process of how to sell on Amazon and also get you thinking about how to not sell on Amazon, okay? So today what we're going to do, we're going to talk about setting up an account really quickly because that's something that you should be able to do on your own. You know, like, I'm not, you know, I don't want to hold your hand through this process, but I know a lot of you guys are new and you don't really know much and that's fine. That's okay because we all were there, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through this really quickly, okay? So there's two different accounts. You have your paid account here and you can go down here and get your free account, okay? Um, I suggest you go with the paid account and that's only because at $39.99, it's like an incentive to get you going, right? Because a lot of us, a lot of times we, we go and we get started with something and we don't follow through. Right. So I feel like, if you know, they're going to take 40 bucks out of your account in a month. Then you might want to start selling. Right. OK, so, you know, you click on that. Uh, it takes you right over here to this page. Um, OK, so no, it didn't. It actually <laughs> took you to my account, which is OK. All right. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> didn't expect for that to happen but that's fine hey man things happen right we're on the fly baby um okay so this is one of my smaller accounts uh where i do my retail arbitrage um i have two accounts one for retail arbitrage and one for my private label i like to keep them separate um i don't want to get mixed up with inventories and all that stuff and you know plus i personally don't use this account a lot of times a lot of times my wife she'll go and she'll put her stuff up here um so pretty much once you sign up this is what you'll get and it'll take you to your inventory and it'll show you all of the different things that was uh that you have available in your inventories a couple pages of things um so she likes to sell books uh and little different things that she finds and yes books are still profitable but you have to find them for super cheap okay you have to get them for super cheap because as you see this fee here she needs to probably change that because as you see the fee here is eight dollars amazon went up on their fees okay and she's selling it for seven dollars and 45 cents so she'll be she's going to be paying amazon money so that's something we don't want to do okay um so i actually need to talk to her about that so she can change it you see good thing that i did go to her account um so i can help her with that because we don't want that but we got these books super cheap we got these books for pretty much nine cents okay so even if we made two bucks um after the fees for us as a profit we we got over a thousand books so it was a lot of books that we got here um yeah so you know uh i started selling on amazon a few years ago just to give you some background and um i made pretty good money you know a decent income off of selling on amazon and uh this is passive and that's what we want to go for we want to go for passive income right this is money that i make while i'm laying on laying in bed you know while i'm out my family um it's changing like i like to say it changed my family tree right because nobody really my family really does things like this right a lot of people pretty much my whole entire family they get up every morning they go to work they work for a job that they probably hate they get a paycheck that they think isn't enough um they struggle to make ends meet you know they uh probably have credit card debt student loans does this story sound familiar right it sounds like a lot of people and it sucks and it really sucks because you don't really get to do what you want to do you know um and it's horrible it's horrible and we get stuck in that middle class crunch is what i like to call it right where you have a pretty decent job and your bills are your expenses rather are not overtaking your you know your income and then something comes up and you get this and then now they're neck and neck right you seem that you can't save money right and then what happens your expenses go above the money that you're making and then you're in the hole so what do most people do they either start working overtime killing themselves or they get another job right and 
then the money goes up and expenses is low and then what happens expenses creep up because they got this overwhelming amount of money that they don't really know what to do with it they don't invest with it and boom we're right back in that same crunch the middle class crunch and i hate to say it but a lot of people fall here you know and i believe that if you're here looking to make a difference in your life selling on amazon is an easy way to get started like i said my wife she does oa and ra which is online arbitrage and retail arbitrage right and it's a really good business model to get started because you can start with low money like i said we bought a thousand books for 89 bucks right for 89 bucks we got a thousand books all those books weren't sellable so we're going to just donate those books but we got a good 600 books that we can sell and we're going to make you know about four bucks to five bucks some some small as you see here you know the margins are pretty small because like i said amazon did raise the fees so this is something that you want to do to get started right you don't want to do this and say oh i'm gonna do this forever because at some point amazon is going to it's probably going to raise the fees some more right and we were lucky because like i said we got the books for literally nine cents okay so our profit on these books are going to be extremely high, right, for the, the amount of fees, right? But if you figure, if I'd have bought this book for two bucks, right, now I got to sell it for something extremely high in the profit margin, the return on investment may not be there. So we know that we can't make online and retail arbitrage scalable, but it's okay, right? So for somebody that's just getting started out so fast, it's right, we'll go down here. <clears throat> I'll just show you. So, as you see here, the fee here is five dollars and seventy-one cent, right? This cup, I bought this cup here for a dollar fifty. Okay, so if you want to add a dollar fifty to that five seventy-one, okay? So if you add the dollar fifty to the five seventy-one, right? That's seven dollars and twenty-one cents, right? I'm selling it for eleven dollars and fifty cents. Okay, and after you do the math there, that's a four dollar and twenty nine cent profit, right? I had, uh, I would say about maybe seven of these, right? We went out, and we bought seventy of them because they were on sale. They were discontinued, not discontinued, but Walmart pretty much was giving them away. So we bought seventy of them. We bought seventy of every single one of these cups here. Okay. We sold all as you see we sold all of them okay we have one left here and this was a return somebody actually returned this i got the email a couple days ago okay so i'm letting you know like this is a profitable thing that you can get into all right um and this is pretty much what we did with retail arbitrage we went to different places and we got these products right i saw, you know and it's really good it's really good you can make a lot of money Okay, you can make a lot of money doing this. So like I said, we, we made a dollar, $4.29 profit. You figure if I sold 70 of them off of this one product alone, I made $300, right? And let me tell you, you see the date on there, right? You see the date that was July 14th is when this data was created, right? Today is August 22nd, okay? So... This product has been out of stock for about two weeks, okay? So, what I'm saying to you is it did not take long, right? It did not take long for this to happen. And as you see, all of these are pretty much sold out and we need to go back and re-up and add more stuff, right? So, this this, this process here is, is really good, okay? But I don't want to get off track because I know I probably got you excited with online and retail arbitrage, right? But the, the true nature of this video is to get you thinking about private label, okay? And you need to really get going with private label. So what we did was we used retail and online arbitrage to create income that allows us to do private label, right? And private labels, if you don't know, is that if you buy something, say for instance, I have this tripod that's in front of me, right? This little iPhone tripod, it came in a box, and I don't remember the name of the company because their branding probably sucks. No, that's just a joke, but I don't remember the name of the company. But if this was your tripod, right, you can source this from a manufacturer, and you can 
put your label, your name on it, it's hence the name private label, right? This is yours, this will be your branding. Um, I'm holding the tripod in my hand as if you guys can see me shaking it. So let me put it down, okay? Um, so that's what that is, all right? There's also different models like drop shipping and wholesaling and flipping from eBay and selling back on Amazon. And there are different um, techniques. Uh, I tend to focus on private label and online arbitrage and retail arbitrage. I dish drop shipping, but drop shipping is a little more involved though because now you have to start getting into your marketing and advertising and doing free plus shipping and you know all these different things which I know how to do, um, but do I have the time for it? Not right now right so um so this is what i want you to understand this private label is where it's at so if for instance let's bring back up the tripod right you can go here to this website this website is alibaba.com right some people may have heard of it some people may have not have heard of it so here at alibaba.com let's type in iphone tripod right just because we were talking about it if iPhone tripod was something that we wanted to source and something that we wanted to sell, we can go here and we can see different manufacturers that are actually selling the product, okay? Um, and we will go here and we will look at different manufacturers and see how much they're selling them for. So they're selling these for a dollar to four dollars, right? Depending on how many you buy. Um, this is something that we want to look for is that if it's a 10 year gold supplier, right? That means they've been around for a while. Also, I like to check to see if they're trading companies, okay? Because I feel like I don't really like dealing with trading companies. I like dealing with the manufacturer itself because if I need to make a change on this product, then I can make a change, right? I feel like manuf uh, the trading companies are kind of like, no, we can't do that because they're pretty much a third party, right? We want to deal with the manufacturer. So there's different ways you can check that. But like, if you go here and go to their mini site, okay? This is a trading company. They tell you here there's a trading company. They also say there's a manufacturer. So that's kind of strange. Um, but a good way to test is when you go down and you look at their products, right? The, the, the products that they make. Um, if their products are pretty much the same product, right? Um, then you can kind of expect that this company is more than just a trading company. Then it's a manufacturer, right? So if that's safe, so they make tripods, if they make lenses, if they make... You know, like they're all, they're pretty much in the same category of things, then, uh, then you're good to go, okay? So, this is where you will go to source different products. Um, there's different methods that you can use to actually source products because you just don't want to buy anything, all right? You just don't want to want to buy anything. You want to actually buy something that has low competition that can sell. And I like to stick with the price point of me personally. I like to go with something that sells for about $24 or more. Okay, when I do private label, $25 or more, because the rule of three is what we look at. And this is why I really want you to change the way you think about Amazon, right? So that's what I'm about to get into. So with Amazon, Amazon takes out a fee, you have to pay your manufacturer, and then you get money, right? So everything is done in thirds, okay? So out of those three components, what component could you actually remove from the equation? Amazon. Right? You can't remove the manufacturer because you got to get your products and you don't want to remove yourself. So what you can do is you can remove Amazon out of that equation. And when I talk about removing Amazon, I'm talking about using Amazon as a tool to get you started on your private label because this is your brand, right? And if this is your brand, you don't want your brand just in one market. You want your brand in many different markets, right? But what we're going to do is when I say use Amazon as a tool, we'll use Amazon to promote our product right so when people go online to search something right so they went to google and they typed in iphone tripod right they'll go to google first to type in iphone tripod right and a lot of times what comes up amazon right because amazon is a search engine you see that amazon is a search engine so it's google google is the biggest search engine amazon is also a search engine and you also got to think about YouTube. YouTube is also the second biggest search engine, right? So when we talk about this, we want to talk about how we can use all three of these search engines here to get 
our product notice, right? Because we don't want to just sell our products on Amazon. We want to sell our products on our own websites. Okay, so when you go to the manufacturer and they make, let's say, 500 of these iPhone tripods, you want to send 200 of them to Amazon just to get it started because when you go to Amazon.com, right? When you go to Amazon.com and you search for these, right, iPhone tripods, You search for these iPhone tripods, right? They come up here, okay? And a lot of times, people will search it and say, hmm, all right, this is a really nice one. I like this one right here because it has a remote, which is actually the one that I'm looking at right now. So that's kind of cool. So, right, it has a remote, and oh, let's, let's find more information out, right? And then what do they do? They'll do this. They'll copy it. Paste it in Google, right? Tripod for iPhone and camera, right? And then what do they do? They search for reviews, right? They search for different things and they, they get it in three different places, right? People will search your product out. Now, if you had your own website, right? When a person went on Amazon to see this here, when they searched it for more reviews, because let's say the reviews they got here wasn't enough information for that person to actually buy this, when they searched it on Google, if this was yours, your website would have popped up up here, right? Your website, because you would have bid for your website, and your website would have popped up first. If you make a YouTube channel with your website, right, for your website, it'll pop up in here on YouTube right so you kind of hit them on the head and not even that there are also other fulfillment centers that you can send your stuff to right you can send your products to another fulfillment center that will fulfill the products for you right and, and now you're probably like okay but how do i start my own website okay it's easy you can go to shopify okay you can go to shopify you can start a shopify online e-commerce site Right. Me personally, I don't use Shopify. I like to use WordPress. Right. I like I like I like to use GoDaddy, GoName, and, I, and I'll use e, uh, WooCommerce, and I'll make my own website that way because it's more familiar for me because of different websites that I made before. But um, this is an avenue that you go to, and there's a lot of videos on how to customize this and get this going. Like I said, I don't use Shopify, but this is definitely a place where you can go to get. Um, your own website, right? So when we talk about Amazon, remember Amazon is the trust factor. Amazon is also the um, the traffic factor because Amazon has over 300 million Prime subscribers, right? There's 300 million Prime subscribers, and that's the trust factor. So if, like I said, if you have your own website, okay, selling your private label product. You can eliminate Amazon and its fees because now when someone buys from you, they're buying directly from you, right? You probably have to pay a fee for the fulfillment center, right? Or if you have a garage somewhere and you want to fulfill these yourself, go ahead. But if you have a lot of orders, you know, it might be better to actually have a fulfillment center. But hey, man, I like bootstrapping it. You know, like I like working from the garage, working from the basement. Right now I'm in my house, you know, I'm in my beautiful house and I'm in my office with a bunch of box inventories around me okay we like bootstrapping it and there's so much you can do with this like I said there's drop shipping now didn't really talk too much about drop shipping but quickly with drop shipping you can go to another place which is a, a cousin site or a sister site to AliExpress I mean Alibaba which is AliExpress right so let's say for instance you're really new you're really starting out you don't have a dime in your pocket right and if you don't have a dime then I would tell you to probably work at McDonald's and get it going and get this money so you can actually start your own live business but we're not talking about that today so iPhone tripod right we stuck on this iPhone tripod um you can come here and drop ship it okay so with drop shipping right is awesome because you don't even have to have any money right so with drop shipping you can come here you can say okay right you can set it up right you, I, you can hit for orders you can hit for free shipping which is something that i would necessarily tell you to do is go for the free shipping and go for orders one that you know is selling right you find the one that you want so let's say this is the the 
iPhone tripod you want, right? It's $2.73. You can take this here, this listing here. You can put it on your Shopify website. You can take this whole thing. They have different programs that will do it for you. It'll go into your website. All of the pictures will be there. And you can sell this for $10, right? And when somebody buys this product from your website, you can even send it to Amazon also, right? You can put the listing up. When someone buys it for ten dollars, you get paid ten dollars, right? Now I would suggest not maybe putting it on Amazon because Amazon pays you on Fridays, and then you know you want to get these things out. So if you want to do drop shipping, you should probably have your own website, okay? So you can manage the money. So when you get paid the ten dollars, you'll take that two dollars and seventy-two cent out of that money. You'll come here to AliExpress. You'll buy this product. And when you add it to your cart to buy it, you'll put in the address of the person that bought it from you. You pretty much keep the change. They get their product. And that's pretty much drop shipping. Okay. That's pretty much drop shipping. So if you don't have any money, like, I mean, you don't have a dime to your name. You can take this product here, put it on your website and you can sell it. Okay. So like I said, man, you can do this. It's not hard. You've seen that we sold out of all our products and it literally has been almost a month, but like I said, it takes about a week for it to get there, another couple of days for them to post the product. So all our products sold out in two weeks, man, because there's so many people buying, right? And it's the summertime too, so the, the sales are slow, but we're getting ready for quarter number four, right? So if you want to get started, I suggest you get started very soon so you can get your products into Amazon because once quarter four starts, man, the sales are going to go up and you're going to make a butt ton of money all right so i just want you to know man I, I, I want you to be able to do this all right i'm very passionate about teaching people how to do this if you have any comments or anything that you can add to make this a better experience for you please comment below i want you to like i want you to subscribe to my channel for free content okay i'm giving you free content we also have a free f BA course that's coming out very soon that you can sign up for and it's a seven day course it's absolutely free it's tons of content we also have a marketing course that's coming out okay and it's going to really get you started and I need you to jump start your, 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 your life man and get it going it's almost 2018 all right and I want you guys to really get this going because this is only how we're going to change our world we're not going to change it by waiting for somebody to give success to us we need to go out and get success right so like i said look out for that free course it's coming all right like subscribe hit that notification because i'll be dropping videos every day okay maybe one video a day maybe two videos a day but i'm dropping these videos every day because i want to get this content out to you guys because i believe that you can do this like i said i'm very passionate about teaching people how to do this because this is not something that should be kept to myself right like i feel like every time i open up a book I read a lot of books and I think that you should too. Okay, I got a subscription to um, Audible, right? I'm gonna leave a link in the bottom in case you don't know how to get there, but I'm gonna leave a link in the bottom for Audible. And I really think that you should subscribe to it because, dude, when I when I read these books, man, it's like I'm getting like the holy grail. You know, I just read this uh, Jay Abram uh, audio book and it changed my mind about marketing, okay? And I feel like that information that I got is gonna change and scale my business better than anything that I ever had every single book that I read right even if the whole book is bullshit and I get maybe like three lines of something golden that's going to change my business I'm going for it okay same thing with education right I bought a course from somebody and it changed my life man you know I bought a course and, and it changed my life I bought this person's course and I was very skeptical like I don't know about anything online. I did it man and it changed my life all right so don't be scared when you see a video and someone's asking you to buy their course or whatever or what you know what I mean like just go for it okay you gotta invest in yourself that's the biggest investment that you can make is into yourself okay Warren Buffett said it they can't take nothing from you you invest in yourself you understand what I'm saying so I want you to do this all right I want you to get going I want you to do